February, the month of love, I don't have any of that. So what do I do? I drown myself in other people's love. Great way to fill the void. Hey guys, it's Kira. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, today, we're doing a February TBR, which, realistically, will I stick to any of these books? Again, I'm a mood reader, so it kind of just depends on what I'm feeling, but these are some books that right now I feel like I want to read this month. Um, some of them, like, I know I want to, and then others are just like, maybe we'll see. These are just all the books. I don't have physical copies for all of them because, I don't know, sometimes the library takes too long to get them and I'm impatient. It is the first when I'm filming this, so I might have already read some of these books and if you're interested in any of them I'll probably already have a rating on Goodreads so go go friend me because I want friends it's in the description below let's just get right into it I'm currently reading by a thread by Lucy score which I've only ever read one book by her which was obviously things we never got over which five stars I'm currently on page 113 let me tell you I am laughing I know it's a, I know it's like a romantic comedy, but I am truly am laughing like every single page. So this is about Ali and Dominic and basically it's like workplace, romance, grumpy sunshine, you know, all those tropes. So let me just say the tension, the tension, it's already there. And this is a thick one. It's also a slow burn. When I tell you, I checked every single day for the library, like I still do it to see if they have any new Lucy score books in. That's what I do. And this one popped up and I clicked on it so fast. I requested it and I got it before anybody else found it. So I literally had this for like a month. And the pink cover, cute. Look at my bookmark. Isn't it so cute? I made it myself. Look, for the month of February, you know, like the month of love. By thread, Lucy score, I haven't even finished it, but give it a try. Give her a try. This book I know I want to read after I read by a thread, and it's Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Hockey romance, again, if you know me, hockey is my life, so I love reading about it. But yeah, um, she's grumpy, he's sunshine. He ends up being her figure skating partner because there's something happens with the hockey rink, so they have to use the figure skating rink. It's this whole thing. But yeah, um, I'm so freaking excited. Apparently, everybody loves Nathan Hawking, so I will be next. Any hockey romance I pretty much love, we're, we're excited. Very, very excited about this one. All right, next two books are both books by Devaney Perry. Um, I read my first Devaney Perry book last month, which if you didn't see my January wrap-up, watch that, because when I tell you I raved about that book, I raved about that book, which was The Birthday List. I picked up the second book in the duology or whatever called Letters to Molly. It's about Poppy's brother and his like ex-wife molly did something while they were still like in the marriage but like were separated and it kind of drew them away so it's like a couple years later and all of a sudden these letters that finn wrote to her way back when but apparently he's not the one sending them so who is out to get them together but yeah, I just freaking loved the first book. And Larry Reads, you're on book two, who I love that one, said that she really, really liked this. So I'm like, well, I'm convinced. I'm pretty sure I will read this one this month, but we'll see. And then the other one, which is like a hit or miss, will I start, will I not, which is Indigo Ridge by Demony Perry. I found out that I love her writing and I'm just excited to start the Eden series. It's a series of a small town and I think it's all about siblings and their romance stories. I think this one has murder mystery in it. I'm very intrigued. So yeah, we'll see if I get this one. But yes, Anima Rouge by none other than Debbie Perry. Next two, I'm just going to chat about because they haven't come in for the library. First one, Girl in Pieces, which I did say was coming from the library when I filmed my January TBR. And it kind of just got lost. It said it was coming for like a week and a half. So I like went up to the library people. I was like, I don't know if this book is like lost or something. So they just canceled my hold and then put a new hold on it. And 
it's been a few days since the book said it was coming, so will it come? I don't know. Will I even want to read it by the time it comes? I have no idea. Like, I'm not feeling it anymore, and I kind of feel bad for canceling it because I already canceled it, so... Honestly, at this moment, I can't even remember what it's even about. But I think it's about, like, mental health and stuff. Don't quote me on that. And then the next one is The Way I Used to Be, which said it was coming. I did not expect it to come, but it's on its way. Yeah, it's about this girl who got raped by her brother's best friend, and it's just kind of about her going through all that. So trigger warning if you are interested in the book. It's about that and how she, you know, goes through high school with that kind of trauma. When that comes, hopefully soon, I will read it. Next up, we have a themed book, which I guess is not really themed, is it? The Do-Over by Lynn Painter, which this just came out last month? A few months ago? I don't remember. If you know Lynn Painter, she wrote Better Than The Movies. I loved that book. This is kind of like a Groundhog Day situation, but it takes place on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, around Valentine's Day, I don't know, it's giving me the Valentine's Day vibes. If it works out, I would love to read this on Valentine's Day. It's a really short book, so I could finish it on that day. I don't have plans, so yeah, it's kind of like a Groundhog Day situation. She's reliving the day over and over. Yeah, I'm excited. I, again, love Lynn Painter. So we have this really ugly cover, and I don't even want to show you it. But it's called Stay With Me by Jennifer L. Armitrout. Arm Armitrout? I saw this, like, a couple weeks ago when I was walking around Target, and I read the back, and I was like, okay. And I didn't realize that it was part of a series that I already tried to start a few months ago and was just didn't get around to it. But I got a new cover, which... I will put up the pretty cover that I saw at Target. That's why I wanted to pick it up. And I was like, what is this about? It's just about this girl who has a lot of trauma and stuff and then ends up finding out that her mom takes out all her money. So she has to move back to this town and then gets a job by this man. I, I don't really know. Um, Something like that. I heard this is a YA series. Is that true? I was like, I don't really love YA romance books, like other than like, you know, Lynn Painter's stuff that I read. So... I don't know if this is YA, I don't know if I'll even get to this, but like at the moment in Target, I was interested in it. So if I get to it, you'll see. All right, this is also one that I'm not sure. It's just kind of like, I wouldn't say an honorable mention, but if I want to read it, I will. And that is Marriage for One by Ella Mays, which I've heard so many great things about this book. And I got the UK cover because I was not getting the man on the cover. This is like a marriage of convenience book. That's really all I know. Um, I just heard that it's so great. It's also a chunky one. Marriage of convenience. That's, that's what I know. This last one, I was checking when my books were coming on my library app and found out that this one was coming. And I was like, I just put on this on hold like a month ago, just being like, it's so high demand that I doubt that I'll get it anytime soon. It's a Mariana Zapata book from Luke Off With Love, which I didn't even expect to come to me. So if you watch my other videos, I have one Mariana Zapata book, which is All Roads Lead Here, which I have not read yet. I was actually going to put it on my TBR this month, but this one ended up coming. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll read this Mariana Zapata book first, which it's kind of like the same concept as Icebreaker. Not really, but it's like a figure skating romance. I think they're both figure skaters or is one figure skater and one's the coach. I don't know. It's either about the coach or another figure skater. I have no idea, but it's kind of their romance story. If you know Mariana Zapata, her books are chunky, which I don't know why I decided this month. With the least amount of days in the month, I decided to read chunky books. Yes, hers are slow burn romance books. A lot of people did like it. Her books are just apparently hard to get into because they're slow burns. So yeah, we'll see. I'm very excited that this came in my possession. I just feel like I have to space it out between my ice skater romance and then this ice skater romance book. Thank you to whoever returned it to the library and I was next on hold. But yes, this is my to be hopefully read for the month of February. It's a lot of books. Um, how many will I pick from this? Who knows? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, comment, and subscribe for more TBR videos because there will be more. I don't know, if you guys have any video ideas, I think doing like reading vlogs, 24 hour reading challenges, maybe comment down below what books you're excited to read this month. Hope you guys enjoyed.
like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!